Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a beautiful 70 Chevelle with an LS6 power plant under the hood. Take a look at this beauty, man. Red, black stripes looking absolutely gorgeous. The chrome on the front's looking great. We got a great looking grill in there. I tell you, she is a beauty. Now these stripes are buried under the clear. You can just barely feel those babies. Of course, uh, she is just looking sweet as can be with that cow hood. She is a beauty, man. And then under the hood, we got a real LS6 uh, motor under there, built very close to the LS6 uh, specs. She does have a roller cam in her. You can see these door jams are nice and clean. The latch was out when they did the restoration. We got great looking rubber here. We got great looking door panels. And yeah, it's a four speed. Check out that four speed shifter in that center console looking sweet. We got great looking upholstery here. We got seat belts in the back. You're going to need them babies with that 454 under the hood. We got a great looking headliner. We got great look at uh, dome light up there is working. Just beautiful. The dash is in beautiful shape. I mean, everything about this car is hot, guys. She's red. She's got the racing stripes. She's a four speed, got 454 power under the hood. Just a beauty. As you look down that quarter panel, you can see the paint works nice and straight on it and smooth. We got great looking chrome on the back bumper. Again, these stripes on the back are buried in the clear. You can just barely feel them babies. Nice and smooth. Then under the uh, deck lid here, you can see the trunks looking good. Underneath the mat, everything's looking sweet there. Wheel well's looking nice and tight. We do have a spare tire in here. It looks like the jack's in there also. Bottom side of deck lid's all nicely painted. They even took the time to put the jack instructions on there. Now look down that passenger side. Man, it's pretty. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this Chevelle, so you know we did our homework before we bought it. First thing that happens to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift, they get inspected. That way we can answer any questions you may have and we can repair any items that we see need to be done. So call Tom anytime, he'll tell you all about this car. It is 70 Chevelle time, baby. 454 power, four speed, looking sweet, sounding sweet. Tell you what, probably one of the most popular cars on the planet is a 70 Chevelle, man. They made a bunch of these babies, and the reason why is everybody loves them. Now, we can deliver this beauty anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248. 974-9513. We got these guys want to let us go first so they can take a look at us. Tell you what, she is one sweet machine right here, guys. We can deliver this baby anywhere also, so call anytime at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you all about this beautiful machine and just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Now you can check out the dash here. Everything on the dash is looking sweet. We got the uh, tack working here. It looks like the speedo's working. I see the clock going tick tock, but I wouldn't trust it to keep time. 
It does have an aftermarket radio that looks like it belongs in there, which is very cool. The dash itself's in beautiful shape. One sweet machine right here, guys. Now, we are very close to the airport, so if you'd like to come visit us, we'd love to have you. We love our customers to come in and check out stuff in person, but we do sell about 95% of our stuff sight unseen on the net. So if you want to send an inspector, got no problem with you send an inspector, just give us a call, let us know you're coming. We do have a lot of cars in inventory and we got two buildings here in Detroit, so you never know which one that uh, car might be in. We want to make sure we're ready for you. We can put the car up on the lift for you. Talking about that, that's about what we're getting gonna do right now. At Vanguard, every car goes up on the lift so you can check out the bottom side. So stick with us, we're pulling in right here at 15100 Keel Street. We're gonna put this baby up on the lift for you right now. All right, we're underneath this 70 Chevelle now, and man, is it sharp under here. The first thing you see is that stainless steel tank, and of course, that's new. Uh, we do have new body bushings up here also. Trunk floor is in great shape, and it, to me, it looks like it's the original floor. Uh, the exhaust system is fairly new on it, and you can see we've got all the markings here. See right there, 331 gear. We have rolled it over and confirmed that. You see all the tags are still on everything, on the sway bar. I got brand new bushings and lower control arms. I got brand new shocks here. Looks like brand new drums. I see brand new nails for the hardware. And the guys will pull the brakes all apart. We do that on every car. Every car, the brakes come apart so we can check them out. There is a posi unit in this 12 volt also. You can see the uh, rings here on the drive shaft. The drive shaft has been painted bare metal to make it look like bare metal. We got a new parking brake cable here. We got a new uh, brake line here. We got new fuel line, new vapor lines. Again, the floorboards here look like they're original to the car. We've got a little bit of undercoating here that may be factory undercoating because it doesn't come all the way out. It's just sprayed on the tunnel here. Um, of course, four speed. We got explosion proof bell housing here, which is very cool. We got a stock repairing clutch linkage here also. I mean, everything under here, you see we've got uh, some more stickers up here. We've got a new brake line going from left to right here. I see new ball joints. I see new uh, bushings on the sway bar here. I see new, what looks like a rebuilt caliper. I see new brackets here. Uh, the flex lines going to the brakes also look like they're new. Uh, the sway bar bushings up here on the frame look like they're new. The front frame horns are nice and straight, looking sweet. Bottom side of the motor is nicely painted, looking nice and clean. I mean, just everything about this thing is looking gorgeous. And of course, it's a 70 Chevelle. We got great looking chrome on the front bumper here. And then we've got the uh, good looking tires on here. It came just like in the day, uh, these poly glass tires, 7014s with the uh, SS396 rims, good looking trim rings, center caps, lug nuts and a nice looking paint job on the rims. You can see the uh, wheel wells are also clean as a whistle. The wheel lip moldings look like they're new. I see a lot of new hardware up in there also. Now I always check out the pinch weld on every car. That tells the story. That is the rocker. It's kind of the backbone of the car besides the uh, frame here. Everything looking sweet. You should see a nice tight um, Two pieces of metal together, looking sweet. Looking up inside the frame here and everything looks nice and sweet up in there. And then same size tire out back, 70-14s uh, out back also. Same good looking trim rings, center cap. And then the wheel well has got a uh, undercoating bed liner looking material. Nice and clean up in there and you can see the uh, wheel lip molding also looking sweet. Well, let's lower this baby down and look like it. Wow. I can't talk. We're going to look at that 454 under the hood. All right, guys, under the hood's where the magic is. This is a 454. This baby was born in LS6 back in the day. It is a 512 block. Uh, so she's sitting in there with a winner's intake on it. She does have a GM part number on that 780 Holly sitting on top. That is a four barrel, guys, just for those of you who don't know what a 780 Holly is. Uh, you can see the power brake booster looks like it's new. The master looks new. We got tags on everything. So the brake lines also look new. Everything's nice and clean under here. Uh, you can see all the lines on the AC compressor also look clean. We got that power steering pump down there. Um, 
everything. We got GM hoses, we got GM markings on the heater hoses there. You can see that the evaporator box is all nice and clean and all the aluminum and everything that's associated with that all looking good. We got a great looking firewall there. You can see that it's got the uh, correct air cleaner on it. They've painted everything up here real nice and neat. Um, even got the caution fan. Don't get your hand down in there. You lose your fingers. That fan, chop them off. Uh, it looks like we got the correct hose clamps on everything. We've even got a top on the battery that make it look like one of the old school batteries. And there is a shut off on the negative cable. So when you're not driving it, you can shut this baby off. She's a beauty, guys. It's a tribute to an LS6. She was born a real S LS6 motor, at least the motor was. The car is absolutely beautiful, so give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.